Welcome to my channel. If you don't know me yet, my name is Michael Weichert and I live in Austria and we are talking about uh, photography, cameras, lenses, everything about it right here and today I have something a little special prepared for you. So let's get closer. So uh, today we are going to talk about the 35 KP or KP of the Soviet Union. You can see it right here. And this lens is a movie projection lens. And as you see, the glass is in perfect conditions. It is very clear and is interesting. And most people don't know how to adapt this lens to a camera. So, in my case, I will feature a lot of Micro Four Thirds here. So, I have a Micro Four Thirds camera, it's the EM1 Mark II. And I will show you what you need to do. So, uh, when you buy the 35 KP from the Soviet Union, you will have no mount. So, first we need to buy a mount. You need from a RAF camera or some other company, but most of the time you will uh, see RAF camera, okay? You need uh, an 62.5 ring to M65. You can see it right here, okay? So, now we have an M65 ring, so we need this adapter from M65 to uh, M42, uh, M42, of course. Yeah. So this M42, we will screw on on this adapter ring. But now we will have the problem because we want infinity focus. So to be able to do infinity focus, we need a focus helicoid from M42 uh, to Micro Four Thirds in my case. Yes. You can see it here. And we will add this to the lens. So now when the helicoid is, is, uh, is smallest, we will reach infinity focus, okay? And the more we extend it, the closer we get into macro photography. So the focus will get closer. Actually, this helicoid is great because we have a much higher focus range than normal photography lenses. We can go to infinity focus and very close, not, not exactly one one macro, but very close, you will see soon. One special characteristic of this lens is its highlight rendering, because we have here a 120mm f1.8, uh, the, the, the focus, focus field, uh, focus line or whatever you call it, uh, we have very shallow depth of field, so it is extremely small. And what I found out with this lens is that uh, everything <laughs> expect the center point is unsharp and you have a very smooth blur and the center point is very sharp. I find it much more sharper than a normal Helios 44. The thing is, the Helios 44 comes with an aperture, but here in the 35 KP we don't have that. So if you, if you shoot the Helios 44 wide open, you will have more satisfying results using the 35 KP, because it is sharper if you use it wide open. So of course you could, uh, you could go on with an aperture uh, uh, focusing or something, but then you would sacrifice the infinity focus. I haven't found any solution for Micro Four Thirds to make a difference in the adaptation. For me, this is fine, but you need to learn how to shoot really wide open without making the picture uh, less, um, less interesting or less quality. Of course, you have a filter size. I think it is 67 filter size, but I'm not sure. There might be a variation from each, uh, from each uh, production, but uh, the thing is, when I use the EM1 Mark II, I don't really need this uh, like, an, like an ND fader or something. 
you have such high uh, shutter speeds on the EM1 Mark II. I personally use only the silent shutter and then go to aperture priority. So the camera does all for me and I have always the perfect exposure. You have the exposure uh, selection on the EM1 Mark II so you can overexpose or underexpose if you see the scene is slightly not, uh, the, not the result you want. So basically when I use this lens I use a silent shutter, aperture priority and if I really need to fix the exposure I will use the exposure compensation. The funny thing is on this 35kp is its color rendering. I find it much more pleasant than the Helios 44 because the Helios 44 usually has very cold colors. But not with this projection movie lens here. Uh, when I find something very colorful or with very good lightning, I can always use this lens to make the scene a lot more interesting. Of course it is very hard to focus, but with, with, some, with some practice you will have it uh, much more uh, on point. And uh, I think it will be very pleasant with the results I show you right now. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the pictures and uh, you see it has a very special characteristic. I found it very pleasant to use. It was very fun and uh, I hope for you too watching this video and subscribe to my new channel if you haven't done yet so. Thank you and I hope you like the stuff I featured. Goodbye for now.